I want to speak briefly um, of some of the achievements of which we feel a great measure of pride. And I want to start with the CFBC, where we've had this past year 327 students sitting 1,042 examinations and achieving a pass rate of 86%, the best result we've had over the last four years. We want to thank the institutional leaders there, the lecturers, professors, but we want to note that we've had low participation in subjects such as French, Spanish, literature, and English, in English, physics, art and design, geography, computer science, and applied mathematics. And I urge that while it is apparent that from the statistics we've seen, the languages and sciences are proving challenging to our students, that students embrace the opportunities presented by the pursuit of these disciplines to distinguish themselves in an ever-increasing competitive environment, yet expanding global marketplace. We want to thank them so very much, and I trust that Dr. Kelvin Daly, our new president, will be able to lead the charge on this front. It may be of interest that, and particularly for those students, and those aspiring to be students of the CFBC, that we have recently begun to push on the envelope where the awards of scholarships to our young graduates from the CFBC is concerned. As of last year, 2012, in addition to the state scholarship and the Tibet scholarship, which we have had for some time, full scholarships are also being awarded to the runner-up state scholar, the runner-up Tibet scholar, the teacher education scholar, and the nursing education scholar bringing to a total of six the number of scholarships arising as entitlements to those students who objectively qualify for them in this regard. <laughs> Beyond that, we have made arrangements uh, recently with a number of institutions in the region and beyond, and we have arranged for 25 additional scholarships to be made available annually to students who do well at the CFBC and who possess the ambition of pursuing university education. This, I believe, is a step in the right direction. In the mid-June CISAC examinations, 710 high school students passed 3,352 exams across a spectrum of 32 subjects, clocking a pass rate of 79.45% and exceeding the performances we have registered in the past three or four years. The ministry is exceptionally pleased that you, the teachers, have turned out, and of course students, a 100% pass rate across all of your schools, every one of them, in a number of subjects, including agricultural science, double award, mechanical engineering, music and physical education and sports, and a 90% pass rate, or better, in agricultural science, single award, electronic document preparation and management, EDPM, food and nutrition, building technology, woods and construction, information technology, and economics. We highly commend the principals, teachers, and school departments that are responsible for this creditable outturn. Give yourselves a round of applause. We are heartened to have realized a gradual improvement over the last three years in the following subject areas, although, of course, we are striving for excellence. History, English literature, technical drawing and visual arts. Last year, we expressed our disappointment with a pass rate of 58.3% in English language. For 2013, however, our success rate in this subject, English language, shot up to a pleasant 72%, outpacing the regional average by several percentage points. Kudos to our English departments. Much is being said in recent years about declining student performance in mathematics on a Caribbean-wide scale. Here in the proud Federation of St. Kitts and Nevis, while we are not yet totally satisfied with our student performance in the CSEC mathematics examination, our performance increased from 47% in 2012 to 50% in 2013, and again outstripping the regional average by again several percentage points. And I think that we 
have now come to expect and to appreciate that regional leadership and trend setting in early childhood education, primary and secondary education, special needs education is a hallmark of the St. Nevis education system. And that's because of you. We are confident about We are confident about our position as a jurisdiction with respect to education, and we owe a debt of gratitude to teachers and principals and education officials and partners, past and present. And I like to put it this way, and the people with whom I work would always encourage us in this regard, that in all the lands, east or west, it is in St. Nevis that we do education best. Yeah. Now to the schools very quickly. I commend the Keon High School and its 110 candidates for achieving a 100% pass rate in eight subjects and its overall improvement. And we take note of the need to improve drastically in physics and geography in particular. Much commendation is to be given to the Washington Archibald High School and its 126 students for a return of a grade one pass in 21.76% of all sittings, a 100% pass rate across 10 subjects, and a better than 55% performance or pass rate across all subject areas. <laughs> the Barsi High School and its 120 students are to be awarded tremendous congratulations for realizing a 100% pass rate in 11 subjects, a grade one pass in 21.72% of all subject entries, in the face of immense challenge and disruption throughout the last school year. Let us give them a round of applause. And I must say that your efforts have been nothing short of Herculean. Thank you very much for your patience and understanding. 73 students at the Charles E. Miller Secondary School did their school and communities proud, tremendously proud in fact, by achieving a greater than 50% pass rate in all subject areas, attaining a 100% pass rate across 11 disciplines, and producing a maximal performance of a 75% pass rate in mathematics. Fifty-five students and their school, the Virtuals High School, are deserving of high commendation for achieving a 100% pass rate in nine subjects and for returning a better than 50% pass rate in all but three subjects. I also wish to laud their efforts to give opportunity to more students, and we wish to emphasize that where education is concerned, there is value in quantity. The more students that have some kind of qualification, the better. One subject, two subject, it is still good, it does matter. <laughs> On behalf of the Ministry of Education and all, all of our students and teachers, I wish to congratulate all of the students, teachers, uh, schools, departments for their prodigious efforts and impressive outturn over the last school year. And we look forward for a school year 2013 2014 that is even more prodigious, more successful, and in which we demonstrate greater commitment. The time has come in this cycle, annual cycle, for us to prepare and to make our professional axes even sharper. In the 11 workshops over the next few days, that is exactly what we are about. The range of topics from specialist math teachers for primary schools, junior and infant reading, learning support, and our child safety schools initiative are critical in our preparation for pushing against new frontiers of education and attaining new maxima in our practice. Training of teachers will be an ongoing priority and appraisals and clinical supervision will ensure that education practitioners keep their professional axes well ground. As we turn a page to the new and eventful chapter of 2013-2014, as we continue our academic journey and evolution. We look forward with great expectation, confident in ourselves, individually and collectively, that we can overcome the obstacles that will threaten to derail 
our pursuit of and commitment to excellence and undermine our progress as a people. We intend to capitalize on our strengths and replicate our successes while working incessantly to conquer our areas of weakness. Let us then continue to pray for even greater resolve and commitment to excellence on the part of all education se sector stakeholders. Mm -hmm.